happy Independence Day! So let's have a short background, okay? Philippines was colonized by the Spaniards for over 300 years. Yep, you heard it right. It is more than three centuries. That's a long time. That is why we have some words that sound Spanish. Or maybe it's a Spanish word that we just adapt. Like mantica and manteca, which is butter or oil. Baño and baño, which means toilet. Queso and queso, which is cheese. And many more words, but that will be a different video. So, here in the Philippines, we celebrate our Independence Day during June 12 for being free! Free from the Spaniards. So, therefore, a free country. Until the Americans colonize us again. So, not so free, huh? <laughs> I think we also have separate Independence Day from the Americans. And it is on July 4th. I think... Wait, let me google it. Does Philippines have two Independence Days? The one celebrated, June 12, recognizes the day the islands broke free from Spanish rule. However, American forces occupied the Philippines until 1946. That's a Google reference. Then, that's it! We have two Independence Days, but the recognized one is June 12. I can tell you a bit of the Spanish history here. You already know that the Spaniards colonized Philippines for 300 plus years, and Philippines was named after King Philip II of Spain. In 1521, Ferdinand Magellan landed on the Philippines and claimed it for Spain. Magellan wanted all the local chiefs to be under Spanish rule, but one of them refused, and that is Lapu-Lapu. So, Magellan attempted to crush Lapu-Lapu but he failed and died during the combat. So, after that incident, years passed by, and Miguel Lopez de Legazpi led an expedition in 1965. The Spaniards finally gained a foothold in the Philippines. There will still be a long story after that, but I won't discuss it here, because it might take 333 years for my video to be published. Haha, <laughs> kidding. So, anyway, here is my opinion about the colonization era. It is divided into two. For me, there are some advantages and disadvantages about it. Let's start with the disadvantages. It always starts with the creation of natural resources, capitalist, urbanization, and slavery, the mistreatment of the natives and the very harsh labor for them. They will always always take advantage on the things that they can benefit from colonizing a country. Well, I think that is the reason why they colonize countries. But, there are some advantages on it too. Spaniards and Americans built hospitals and improved the education of the Philippines. Universities were opened here in the Philippines during the Spanish era. And, I don't know if this is an advantage or a disadvantage, but we became a Catholic country because of the Spaniard colonization. So, both sides have their advantages. But unfortunately for the Pinoys at that time, they experienced more the disadvantages of it. Being free is an awesome feeling at that certain moment. But usually, after being free, we got lost because we're not prepared to be independent. I'm not saying that Philippines is lost, but this is in general opinion. Let's say that you're living with your family your entire life and then decided to be independent one day. So you packed all your things and live alone. It is a great feeling at first, but then you are caught up with the reality that you need to do everything on your own, like everything on your own. Like, you will cook for yourself, clean your own place, not just your bedroom, do the dishes, do the laundry for your entire life. Unless you're so rich that you can hire others to do that. What I'm saying is that, independence comes a great responsibility. 
Hmm, I know it sounds familiar, right? But you are like really need to plan way ahead before you want to declare independence on any single thing in your life. From your family, from your work, from everything. And going back to the original topic, this video is just me saying my greetings to my fellow Pinoys out there. Happy Independence Day! See you again soon!